Hello everyone! Uh, welcome back to Undertale Yellow! Sorry if I sound a little stuffy, my nose is being bad. Uh, so yeah, last we left off, we, uh, found this place. So I guess we'll walk around and look at all these people. Hey kid, sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This little thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Okay. Oh. Oh. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. Is it? No, wait, no, it's got a pillow. That's right. The couch not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. Of what? How dare you just say that and then not elaborate at all. A firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, trying to restrict free sleepers. Ugh, how dare. Press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So so. You push the hammock. Its sway is hypnotizing. Oh, does everyone live here? It's kind of quite a spectacle, is it not? <laughs> I'd bury myself in the sand if I could. Yep, yep. Okay. Hiya! Small job taking on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the taco town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. Here. Anyway, see you later. Okay. Uh. The hospital. Oh no, where are these clinics? We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? I... Oh, that's that one. No problem. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30, you have an overcharge to help. It is an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? What do you say? Um, okay. Come closer and I'll begin the procedure. Mm-hmm, I see. A little bit of this, and done! When the energy wears off, it's gone for good. You can always visit me again for more, but only one at a time. I don't take risks, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> sure. Hello! I'm here for the free world we pops. After I checked myself in, no dog said she ran out of world we pops yesterday. Bummer. At least I have this fluffy bed to cheer me up. Sure. This is the weirdest cowboy town I've ever been in. It's also the only cowboy town I've ever been in. Hey, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the profits. We should try it out. Is it Rick? What is that? I have a horse each and every day! A crunch upon carrot and munch upon a. But a shy horse I am, so please go away! I'm scared. Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs 3D to play with a potential of profit. Okay, I'll play. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you'll be rewarded 25G. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15G. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3G. If the deck is empty, if the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? Let us play. Oh, oh God! Oh God! This is surprisingly stressful. But I'm not afraid. I'm afraid. Oh, I can do diagonal. 
Gaming. That's not right. Ah, <laughs> shame. Would you like to play again? Very well. Maybe I'll be back. I don't know. You. You. What's up? Um, about Martin. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Escor. <sighs> Pardon me. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the royal guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her. I've just heard we all look alike. I just heard we look alike. Oh, you clever. M <laughs> Martlet. I gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I've missed. I didn't do nothing bad, I swear. Clover! I knew I could count on you. So, me getting out of here. Any luck? Soon. Let's hope. Things should be in positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway. That sheriff, North Star, was it? What a jerk! I tried to fight for you, I really did. His, ho his hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One that knows this is unjust and will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... Who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. Asgore or another guard finding out about you would be the end. Huh... Well, North Star seemed pretty enthusiastic about all this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. <laughs> what a day. I know, right? Alright. In I go to the saloon. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hot hitting stuff is off limits. This is a bar, not a marketplace. Try blackjack down the road if you want to barter. Alright, fair enough. Are you an armadillo... lady... guy... thing? Oh, this little place? It's pretty fun around right here. I heard it was established some years back when the dunes gained its name, if you get me. I should be polished on its history, but star don't talk about those... those days. I hate it. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's playing. Uh, snakes. You have snakes? <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellas are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. That's amazing. That is actually the best. <laughs> the underground still houses some critters from the service, like birds and insects. Found these west of here, hiding in the crevice of certs. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Can I leave? You can at any time. Won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you're wanting to go. I try not to infringe on sheriff business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. North Star. What a character. A big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoop. They frequently post parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Saroba, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her in Star's antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one. <laughs> oh, she's got a daughter. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw the rascal. We really need to get the whole gang together again. Have fun out there. What do you want? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Satan? My life's a wreck. Beast and wolf were washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. 
you know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, I graduated middle school, what else do you need? Stuck going to gig looking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day, this robot fellow rolled up to me and I said I've ever produced an artist. Now, I'm a great producer, made hot beats in my computer every weekend. I have the talent, but I lack the vision. I told that one wheeled television they wouldn't make it in the industry. Metaton? Oh boy. What an idiot I was! This should garner a following and totally exploded. Not literally. Maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes, it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to go arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. Right. I... You know, I'm just gonna... Are you ready to buy... Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to Townsville? Explorative and nook and cranny? You're gonna need to if you wanna be a good... Deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now, don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you gotta know you how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. I have a gun. I'm from the legendary land of America. This music slaps. Alright everyone, come here. What you want, boss? Ooh, are we gonna begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I'll see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. <clears throat> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hitting at? Oh, oh, I know! Yes, Mooch. A duel! Bingo! Oh my god. No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat, it's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster, what kind of pea shooter is that? Cool it, Ace. I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store. <laughs> Dress to impress? Could have called it makeover time. With guns. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often uh, borrow his wares and uh, break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack. Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star! I told you I wouldn't even tell you a gumball! Oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those, and those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week! Frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Oh my god, I love him. Might get speedy! Of course, sir. I'm just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. I awarded that poorly. Hold on. <laughs> like I said, I'm from America. Where where I come from, you could have just said that. This ain't a child, you see. I was I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. I'll give you 400 G. Well, why didn't you over with that kind, patron? Come inside with me, and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. You have a way with words, North Star. It. Uh. Okay. None and done. Can I get you? A, can I get a yeehaw? No. Right. Moving along. 
Let's see what you got. Take this trusted six shooter as a gift from me. I got a gun! Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. So I can talk to the dummy if I so choose. You attempt to speak to the dummy. North Star is confused. Uh, actually, that's good. The intimidation of your opponent can decrease their focus. Good thinking, Clover. Uh... I'll talk one more time. Intimidate the dummy more, it does nothing. Let's practice your shooting now. Oh. It's alright, partner. Try again. I, I don't understand this at all. I, um... Quite a fine job. Give it another go. There you go. Once more. Oh. Nice shooting. I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. You're definitely past this part of the training. I gotta go tell Saroba about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Uh, whoa! Transition! Saroba, guess what just happened? You locked up another royal god against their will? Hey, Feathers was a serious roadblock to all this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, Clover just passed their first round of training. They're quite the shot trooper. Almost as good as me. Really? A child? Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and then so. I know, I'm just very impressed. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know you. You should get to know him, Saroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Hey, what's up, Saroba? You have a daughter? I very now you know very little. Tell me, truly, are you into all this? Yeah, there's like not a maybe option. There's not like a kinda, so I'll just go with... No, not really, I want to go home. I saw the star is dragging you around so much there. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it is nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. I... Well, hang on. We used to give my husband chujin baskets full every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back. I'm back. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here. You got a nice hat. Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed if I was standing from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Saroba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Is Saroba's husband dead? Is he dead? I have a funny feeling. I think a thank you is in order. You just received some high-tier gifts. For free, no less. I do have an eye for that sort of thing. Nope, bye. Why is there a kangaroo with a gun? Actually, should I save? I should probably save. I wasn't lying about being close to an exit earlier. I just didn't expect all this. On the bright side, you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock isn't totally pointless, ha! <laughs> I still don't trust you at all. Stick him up, partner. This is a robbery. Uh, what? Uh, darn, I always get that part wrong. 
Bye. <laughs> Missions here can be real tiring. That's why we have a designated nap time. It's a good way to recharge your future feelings of justice. Now that I think about it, nap time should be after this next mission. Hope you join us. You guys are weirdos, but it's pretty awesome. Bam, bam, bam. You're out of prison. Hey, go away before I'm cut. I mean, I was released by Star. Yeah, yeah. No problem there. It's kind of irritating the last mission was postponed. I didn't like Star to overlook the dress conditions. I guess we can chalk it up to him having his plate full. I am surprised he's got you such fancy upgrades. We didn't get that kind of stuff when we first joined. Uh oh. Uh oh. I. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tensions? Do they rise? Oh, hey. I'm in here to give Motley some food, that's all. It isn't meal time, but I thought you'd enjoy something. So, you don't need to worry about her. I'll make sure she's treated as well as one in jail can be. This is for the best. It's so boring in here. And that's not the voice at all I gave you. Could they at least give me something to do? All I have is brainstorming puzzle ideas in my head. I recently had an idea for a third molten rock puzzle, so that's fun. Okay, it isn't fun. What is interesting is the noise I heard a little while ago. I heard a loud snap, which awoke me from a nap. Before I realized what had happened, the other prisoner was gone. I tried to talk to them when I first arrived, but I got no answers. But now not only am I in jail, I have no cellmate to talk to. Oh no, this day is going fantastic for me. I can tell. Start- oh, so what is that? Why- what is that? Where did Saroba go, and why is this thing on the stage? A straight white man? Out, out, Clover. Ready for round two? Swell. Seeing as the original plans were all through, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Transition. Group up, everyone. Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover's looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. Had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. That was real tough, too. But old Jack in his place, I did. You could have sent me in to get it. You know, I'm the best negotiator. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't mandates. Mm-hmm, totally. Let's get to the mission already. Right, you are, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. Here we go. It's time for us to duel. You mean duel? Uh, oh yeah, he did use the wrong duel. I wasn't gonna mention it, but he did use the wrong duel. That's what I said. <laughs> No, you pronounced it with a U-A sound instead of an oo sound. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? <laughs> I didn't know there was- I need to go to that, that's hilarious. Duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato, and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so I... Upsets my frontier zen. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to... Uh, participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch, bye-bye, Clover, with the designated tool. It's a BB gun for the duel! I'll, uh, take that six shooter off your hands for now. Would you bring the gun here? That's what I was gonna do, Moray. Get off my back, will ya? Alright, it's finally time to go head to... Wait. What is it, Ace? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. No! Gee, boss, you could've hurt Clover. Alright, right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want to pay with the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. Here. Anyway, he, he's got a point. Now we're in business. Alright, Clover. We're 
we're going to take 10 paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. Can I shoot to the sky like in the Hamilton? I don't know why I called him the Hamilton. Ow. Oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. How do I shoot? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta wait for the signal or it ain't fair. Let's try one more time. <laughs> How's the floor taste, idiot? Star, Star, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. Who, who will give your, who will you give your inheritance to, Wink Wink? Not you. Heck. Well, it was worth a shot. Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all swell with stones and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone that must carry that weight on your back. Dude, that was hilarious. Hope I didn't scar you. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Keep your eye on. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. I have a feeling that tension. Why is what? What I? What's up? I mean, Tony Human, don't tell no star about this, but I have a secret. When everyone is busy or sleeping, I sneak out. I go down to the Cafe Doom to game. The arcade is totally rad, you dick. I'm a gamer at heart, but in cowboy skin, I even struggle to keep my accent on. I used to try being a gamer, human. Maybe you could tie my Mewi score? Okay. I'm not up to anything, I swear! And a monster appreciate a fence in peace. Okay, all right. Sheesh. <gasps> oh my god, can I join in on the nap time? Yes. Yes! It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's the most amazing thing. Actually, hang on, I have to save, and then I'll go back to napping. Uh, I just remembered. I have to save. Howdy! Alright. Alright. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, I gotta take a quick nap, and then I will return when I do, I guess.